Hi everyone, welcome back to Kelly Renee Every Day, where I am here and dedicated to teach you the fundamentals of crochet. So I am here with an update. Actually, I have almost finished my up down afghan and I wanted to share with you, um, you know, how I was finishing up and how everything turned out. So first of all, my final size ended up being 61 inches long, 40 inches wide, and it took six balls of the yarn inspirations Karen cakes and this is called buttercream now I wanted to let you know that the picture on the link to Amazon does look washed out but I want to reassure you that this indeed is exactly that it is buttercream and it's the Karen um, cakes yarn inspiration so I wanted to make sure that you are aware of that because I know there were some questions about it because it, it truly does not show how vibrant and nice these colors are so I I, I, I checked I triple checked and indeed it is correct um, I think it's just a bad picture and um, so I took six balls of those yarns and I used an eight millimeter hook now on the label it does tell you to get a five millimeter hook but because this is an afghan and I wanted it to be a little bit more drapey and flowy um, I went with the eight and I'm very happy with how that turned out so to get the 61 long what I did was I chained an initial 97 chains and then I used a single crochet going all the way back along that initial row okay so that meant my final stitch count was 196 so what you want to do is because we're using that half double crochet and the slip stitch so those two in combination you want to do your initial chain an odd number so however long you want it you can make it that's what's nice about about um, this pattern so you just want to do um, you want to do an odd number so that as you come back that first row is going to be all single crochets so when you use that one chain because you're going to go into the second chain from your hook that way when you come back your final stitch count on that row and for all the rows going forward is going to be 196 okay then you're going to chain two on the second row and you're going to half double crochet then slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch all the way to the end so you're going to start on a half double crochet on every one of your rows and you are going to end on a slip stitch every time you turn you're going to chain two and then start with that half double crochet in the slip stitch from the last row so i call it the up down stitch uh, i call it the up down stitch because you exactly start doing that you start going in the ups and the downs okay so if you want to get the specifics on that stitch and how i got that started my first video which i'll have linked down below is going to give you exactly how to get started okay this is the i'm finished <laughs> and i wanted to just kind of show you how to finish it up but then also answer some questions that were asked along the way so i do want to do exactly that i want to finish up so so what i've done is the very last row once you get to the point when you're all the way like yep I've got it exactly the, the, the width that I want you are just gonna end that final that final row with us uh, um, I'm sorry with us a, a, a single crochet oh my goodness I can't talk so I'm gonna I'm gonna just continue on I've got my last couple single crochets to put in here and then I will show you how to weave in the ends so just go underneath pull through and through both loops so i'm going to continue all the way to the end here i just have a couple more to go this was a really fun project to work on and i'm so pleased on how it how it ended up turning out um, I, I i really couldn't be happier with it so um so like i said i wanted to finish it up here so you can see the final result and then um, answer some questions that that I was getting in the comments so that um, everybody um, you know if you're interested in getting it going it's uh, it's a really fun one so the very last one that I have here is going to be right there okay and then I'm going to single crochet now this is how much I have left okay of the six balls so truly it was six balls and just a little left now my again my dimensions were 61 long 
and 40 wide, 61 long and 40 wide. So all I want to do is now I just want to pull through and then grab my scissors and just a little bit longer so that I can weave that in. Okay, so now that's, that's it. That's it. So I'm going to pull this all the way through and I'm just going to tighten that down. Okay, and now I can weave in this end. So to weave in the end, I like to use, I like to use a metal darning needle. I know there's plastic ones out there which are you know great, but um, but I don't know. I just find that I like the metal better. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave this back along that single crochet, and you just want to weave it far enough so that you know it's not going to you know unravel, and you don't want it to be super tight. And then and then I like to go down. And um, I want to stick in the gray here, and then I kind of come back the opposite way. Okay. And it's really just, I mean, you don't even notice that it's here at all, truly. Okay. And then I'm going to go back one more time just to be sure. Okay. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to, we're just going to cut it off. That's it. And then we're done. Okay. Put that there go and that's it that's it so um so it is complete and it has turned out beautifully i am so incredibly happy with it so uh, some questions that i was asked first of all was um you know what was the size so i chained 197 and then because i was using that single crochet on that foundation row i i started in that second hole or the i'm sorry the second chain from the hook so that as I went back and that first entire row was all single crochets, there was 196. So I needed an even number of stitches then to start the actual um, pattern. So then I chained two, I turned, and I did the half double crochet in what it, what it would have been the slip stitch, which was the last stitch that I did on the previous row, okay? So, um, so, then, so then you start always on a half double crochet, you end on a slip stitch, to uh, chain two, turn, and then you go back the, the opposite way. And it's going to be half double crochet, slip stitch. So it creates this really pretty, and I hope I hope it comes across. You get these little diagonals, okay? Now it's the same on the front as it is on the back. So it's a reversible um, afghan. Now, some people were asking me, how did you know how it, it was gonna end perfectly on the rows? It didn't, okay? This does not tell you, you know, what is the, what is the, um, you know, yardage for each one of those colors. And honestly, it wasn't even every time. I'm going to show you. So you'll notice here in this area, I have this much green. And now look, a couple rows up when it, when it switches back to the green again, look at how thin it is. And I think that actually adds to it. I, I'm kind of happy that it's not like a perfect pattern. Another thing you'll notice is, my colors changed in the middle of the actual afghan, and it works. I mean, as you go across here, um, I think it's I think it's beautiful. I, I'm not bothered by it at all. You'll also see where the gray went to purple right here. Okay, um, and then it was kind of weird. On the last ball that I had, there was um, see, there was one little. <laughs> one little bit of of the white and then it switched right away and I'm like okay I'm just gonna go with it so sometimes these started with gray sometimes they started with the the mauvey pink sometimes they started with the purple and I just randomly pulled it and I would go right from the center and I just started whatever it was so whatever I ended with I started with the next ball and I didn't worry about anything you know switching you know, everything, I, honestly, nothing ever fell on the end of a row. So, um, so here too, here you're going to notice that there was that one there. And then, um, it, but it works. It really, really works. I think it turned out amazing and it feels really super nice. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. So I wanted to, I wanted just to come on here so that you could see the final product again, six balls, 61 by 40. I used an eight millimeter hook. 197 was my initial chain, 196 back with single crochets and then um, back and forth. And again, if you want to get the starting of it and how to do the stitch, 
I will link my first video down below here. So, um, so yeah, I, I encourage you to try this one because it is beautiful. And again, um, the Karen uh, cake, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful yarn. So, um, so I encourage you to try it. And uh, if you have any questions, don't don't hesitate to reach out. Enjoy.